Johnson. Oh, I understand. I totally understand. Got to keep him clean. Exactly. All right. This is fascinating work. We'll come back and uh, maybe take a little look ahead. I know a lot of you are saying, all right, all right, Iran war, the next president, the dollar, they said dead, not dying, not declining, dead. What are we looking for? So we'll see if we can tease a, a few hints out from our guests next. But uh, it's a remarkable sight, halfpasthuman.com, and I think all of you are, are now well aware that this is an extraordinary discovery that these two gentlemen have uh, have made. Cliff Software is amazing. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. All right, gentlemen, without giving away the store, I wouldn't ask you to, uh, because this is a, an ongoing project. What do we see in this year, 2008, in general terms, I've been saying for the last year or two that 08 is going to be the, a, a very difficult year. Clearly, financially, that has, has come true. Uh, there are many other issues involved. Uh, George Bush continues to say rather smugly, oh, I, I have a lot of work to do yet. I'm not, I'm not finished. And that suggests, when one takes into account the forced retirement of uh, Admiral Fallon, that the war against Iran is still on in certain quarters in, in the top echelons of what they call government in this country. So tell us what you may or may not about what you see potentially in general terms ahead, if you would. There, uh, let me give a brief sketch. We deal in, in two large, we slice and dice language a bunch of different ways. One of the very good ways we do it is to declare some language as being of a building emotional tension nature and other language as a release uh, emotional tension. Okay, let's, let me dwell on that just for a minute. And also let me say that what we discussed off-air does not necessarily need to be mentioned at all. Oh, I understand. Uh, I understand. Okay, all right. So release language, tension language. Give me a, a little bit more on that. We have about mm, ten minutes left. Uh, briefly, anything that causes your gut to clench is going to be in a building nature. And if you're just take the language around that sudden shock that sends a, a physical body reaction. That's a building kind of a tension. Okay. A release tension is when you scream because you're scared or startled or whatever. You release tension. Those are very uh, broad examples. Mm -hmm. When we get into our level of granularity, we can say that certainly there appears to be uh, now especially uh, a push for a war with Iran. We have some indicators that we don't, we don't get, for instance, what might occur or what has occurred, what we get is language that shows up about this. So if everybody in the world all of a sudden decided on this next three weeks to suddenly start discussing a war with Iran as though it had already occurred in a past tense due to a novel, we might pick that up and we couldn't distinguish it between that and the actual war with Iran, if that makes sense. It does. Fair enough. Got it. Okay. Given that, given that caveat, we have indications that and again, that we work off of uh, lunar months and so on, that after the equinox, about uh, one lunar month thereafter, there is something scheduled. This is a schedule uh, derives from uh, loud, raucous, uh, inappropriate, and self-righteous, drunken uh, uh, shouting that has already occurred. And uh, it focuses on Iran, and the date would be early May. Uh, we also know that we have a very broad terrible sense of release language that strikes the globe in a fashion uh, very similar to some aspects of September 11th, the mm -hmm. aftermath, in the terms of how, how everybody was all focused planetarily on the United States in a semi-positive way. Mm -hmm. In the coming Later fall, on. we're going to experience mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how much like that at this point, but around October 5th or 7th or somewhere in that area, we're going to start seeing a, a sudden shift into release language. And it won't be a good shift. We have some elements of it, but we don't have any firm descriptions, so we can't just say it's going to be a giant earthquake, although we do see indications of large earthquakes in December. It doesn't appear that those are connected. Something in um, perhaps, perhaps terrorism, perhaps an attack, perhaps an industrial accident, it's hard to say. We just can't separate it at this point. But it should have a very, very large element of visibility. Could be and financial. Financial is, is a minor aspect of it. We'll mm -hmm. already be in the in the deep series of problems uh, financially over the course of this summer. There will be some people who will be uh, 
um, have an elevated mood for a couple of months in July and August, thinking one way about the economy and, and everything, and that will not be the case at all. Those are the ostrich people. Uh, correct, correct. And they're going to get um, uh, a rather strange come up when we get into September. But again, this is a minor ongoing background thing. However devastating it is to individuals, we're talking about in the aggregate here. We're talking about visibility oh, levels such that it will hit the news in October. And we may still be discussing the same central event by the end of January of 2009. Dollar declines on speculation at the Fed's res- rescue package won't succeed headlines on bloomberg so well it, you, you you're right on i mean hundreds of billions of dollars is not going to rescue the dollar correct at this stage nothing can we've been calling it initially last year it was the near death experience because we didn't know if it would survive or not and then we discovered in the process no it isn't going to survive 12 year low today against the yen yeah that's okay. why I'm concentrating on my grow dome and getting the garden in and everything. Food now, prices are going to escalate tremendously, and I'm going to start growing a charity garden because I'm uh, I have serious concerns for my neighbors and relatives. And if 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 every even every fifth house in, in every neighborhood would grow a charity garden, we wouldn't have to worry too much. Uh, well, people really need to think about this. I mean, we will. There'll be problems, but one, I think it's a ten by fifteen foot plot can feed a family. Uh, if it's sure, done if you use properly. biointensive gardening, it's, That's it's, right. it's work, but it's doable, certainly. Right, right. Okay, so clearly it is time now to plan ahead. If you, if you wait and then try to plan after the fact, you forget about it. I mean, you've got to do it now. Especially since we're, we have what we call metadata layers in which we get generalized themes that seem to run through the whole of our little model space. And some of these generalized themes are encounters with scarcity on a global fashion and restrictions on movement, which also applies to the movement of goods, which in turn produces encounters with scarcity and so on. And movement of goods can also be restricted by increases in oil, obviously. Truckers are, are apparently uh, falling by the wayside uh, in, in droves now in this country, independent operators. So, uh, yeah. And it's just the start, just the start. It, it'll, it'll get so bad at some point, Jeff, with the uh, decline in the dollar, at, at least at the archetype level, it reads almost like ships full of goods headed for the United States turning around and going back to their ports of origin because they don't want to deal with this. Utter, utter bankruptcy. Total insolvency as a, as a viable nation state. Yeah, it has echoes, and... too, of what happened to Argentina. We actually have a, have a recent, although it was in, in uh, Argentinian form of Spanish, and there's some variance there, um, we have a recent linguistic model to, to actually look at uh, in the past. So we have some level of hindsight, which we can apply to our forecast, and it reads a lot like that. We're actually expecting something in spring or summer, some natural disaster to be in combination with what reads or could read to be an ATM shutdown. The shutdown of access to digi dollars, which is going to cause some great consternation to a whole lot of people, and indeed will affect the political process. Now we can be wrong, but if we're right, we're going to be spectacularly right. We'll we'll have the language that will define it probably to within ninety percent. The problem the, the problem that we look at for the end of the year is we don't know if we're going to be able to do the data runs much beyond this September October period simply because some of the changes that come may actually do something like impact the Internet. Restricted Internet. something. Well, it may spread from something like a regional power outage that Mm -hmm. persists for six or seven months, Mm -hmm. causing a widespread region to affect the rest of the national grid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or some terrorism group figuring out how to attack the uh, SCADA infrastructure of Mm -hmm. power companies. Well, as, as, as I and, and others have said, the, had September 11th actually been pulled off by the, the alleged perps, uh, they would have headed to the three, three or four nearest nuclear power plants and, and taken those out and made the northeastern United States uh, unlivable. That would have been a true blow against the great Satan, not some symbolic effort against uh, the Twin Towers, within, which were already condemned because of their asbestos. Anyway, that's another story. This, uh, this data stream must be fascinating to process. 
for you it both. It can be tedious beyond understanding, too. But uh, it gets your attention at times, yes. And overall, Cliff, what would you say your your accuracy rate is? And I, I please forgive me. That's a very pedestrian way to approach your work. But in, in general it's terms. Than, it's better than chance. It's probably as good as uh, a, a medium stupid psychic. I mean, if you've got a really good psychic, I'm sure that they can they get nuances that we could not pick up at this stage. And we're in the very garage so stage of the whole thing. you're running 60 percentile range around there? Uh, so on some things, economically, much higher than that. And on some things, weather-wise, much higher than that. Hmm. So, for instance, we're pretty good with earthquakes that, are, that rise in visibility to the point where they're reported in a general sense in the media. Mm-hmm. We're pretty good with uh, major storms that are going to come in and be reported in the media. And some of our clients have, have quite actually written to me and said, well, and, and let me put it to you this way. I've got an email from some of our readers that's, that, for instance, said, in 2005 I was reading what you were saying about the housing market and scared the absolute out of me. And I, was, I went and sold my house right away, and my wife was just ready to kill me. Uh, but we took our, all of our profits and we put it into the precious metals, and you <laughs> basically saved my nuts. And now she thinks I'm a god. It I doesn't know. get much better than that, you know. No, it doesn't. That's a great. That's a great email. All right, we just have a minute left. And uh, what would you like to to add to this, uh, George? Anything? And then we'll get a final comment from Cliff. Well, I think I think there's there's some lesson to be learned just just from observing that uh, Cliff and I are are both former six figure kind of guys that uh, have deliberately chosen not to live right in the heart of a major urban area, and we're both into uh, gardening and, and uh, uh, getting, your, getting yourself fit and all those kinds of things because mm-hmm. the times ahead are not the times that was. No, no. And, uh, Cliff, we're talking about uh, this year is going to be a very telling year. We have, we have a tendency to label years here in an archetypical fashion, probably mm-hmm. the poet in me trying to come out through all the computer code. So last year, for instance, was the year of emergence. The year before that was the pivotal year. This year is the year of manifestation. Another way of looking at that is undeniable fact in the road looking at you. Got it. And then we're getting into some really nasty years in 2009 and 10. All right. Gentlemen, thank you. About three years out. Okay, very good. Thank you both very much. Uh, I'd like to have you come back uh, in a few months, and uh, maybe we'll spend some more time on this, if you would. Be glad to do it. Okay, thank you. All right. We'll pause and be back in a few minutes. 